Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Studio Set, and today I'm going to show you how to use our desk volume sets inside of Premiere. This is Premiere Pro CC, and what you can see here on the timeline I've got, I have one layer, which is our presenter, and he is sitting there. I'll show you a little bit in more detail how we've got the scene set up. And then the next layer is the table, which we have in this layer right there. And then we have a background animation that is looping in the background. And you combine all those layers, and we have our presenter and the desk and the background. So let me show you how to do that real quick by first deleting everything we have in here. All right. And so the first thing that you want to do is import your background and your footage for your project. And the next thing that you want to do is create a new timeline. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is just by dragging my background clip to the Create New Composition button. And that will create a composition in the same format and size as the original clip. The next thing that I'll do is I'll go into the folder of desks that I downloaded from our site and choose a desk to put in the scene. So I think I'll choose this one right here. Click, drag it down to the timeline. These are in PNG format. They also come in a couple other formats when you download them. So I'm going to click and extend the length of that uh, desk clip. And you can kind of see that just bring it in right there, it's just a little bit big. These are all rendered in 4K, which just allows you to uh, zoom in on the desk and uh, scale up and down um, the desk without losing any kind of quality or anything like that. And so when you originally bring them in into most video editors, they're going to bring them in at the native size. And so that's going to be big. So you may want to uh, scale it down or just kind of adjust a little bit for whatever scene you've got set up. So I'll select the desk layer come over here to motion and scale it down just a hair. I probably won't scale it down that much. I kind of like having uh, the desk go off the edge of the background a little bit. Um, and then I'll position it down just a hair, uh, about right there. All right. And so the next thing I'm going to do is bring in our talent footage. And so I'll click and bring him in there. I'm going to delete the audio because we don't need him talking in the background while we're trying to pay attention here and then so we have our scene and this presenter is shot with a green screen in the background and then there's a desk and there's actually a green screen draped over the desk and that will give us that um, the ability to throw him right on the desk and then his legs we don't have to worry about his legs getting you know masked out um, since the desk is already um, uh, masking those legs out, then he'll just fit right into the desk. You'll see in just a second. It'll make much more sense. The first thing to do whenever you're keying anything um, is to remove all the excess footage that you don't need to worry about. And so we'll do that inside of Premiere by going to, by selecting the clip first, going to Effect Controls, Opacity, and then by using the Map Tools, um, that, uh, or Masking Tools, I'm sorry, that will um, allow us to mask out the, the um, additional parts of the scene that we don't need. So I'll choose the pin tool and then I'm just going to click in our clip and just do kind of a dirty what they used to call garbage mat around our presenter. So now we have a much less um, area of the green chroma key that we have to remove and that makes it a lot easier on us. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go to the effects tab and select a keying effect to remove the green screen in the scene. You can just do a search for keying, and that'll pull up all of the keying options and all the effects. There are alpha keys, color keys, difference keys, just about every kind of key you can think of, but what we're gonna use is called ultra key here. And so we'll drag it onto the clip and then we will apply the ultra key. So you can see that the effect is inside of this clip now. And the last thing we have to do is select the color in the scene for it to remove. It defaults to black, um, hence why you don't see any change in our scene yet. So if I click the eyedropper tool, 
and then I click somewhere in this scene where the green is. It will sample that green and then remove it. And you can kind of see that it doesn't do that great of a job right off the bat, but we'll clean it up just a little bit. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it because this isn't a chroma keying tutorial, but uh, I will make it look a little bit better than that. So uh, the first thing that I usually do is change the output from composite to alpha channel. That will show you what parts of the scene are um, remaining uh, in, the, in the key. And then we'll go over to here. Uh, actually, I'll change my setting first to aggressive, which will take out a little bit more. And then we'll adjust some of these highlight and shadow parameters to uh, remove more or less of the key. So if I reduce some of that, you can see that's getting there. There. So now if I change this back to composite, it should look a little bit cleaner. It's not going to be perfect, but like I said, this is an chroma key tutorial. I'm not going to go through every little nook and cranny of the ultra key plugin, um, but that'll kind of get you going. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is to scale and position our presenter in the scene. So it looks like he's actually on the desk and not a half person who is stuck inside of the desk. And so I will scale this down just a little bit and then position him up a little bit. You know, right about there, you know, looks pretty good. Although now, since he's right there, you know, it's a little bit high for our scene. You don't want the head to be that high in the scene. What I'll do is I will move our desk down a little bit, maybe right about there, and then I'll adjust him down as well, right about there. So that's good. The other things that you can do, like let's say you wanted to have a little bit closer uh, of a shot of this person, you can scale the desk back up a bit, right? You can even go a little bit higher than 100 and still get away with it. And then scale your person up a little bit more. Go right about there, maybe a little down a little bit. About there, and then we'll change the move the desk around. As well. well. Maybe a little bit more. Right about there. So you can kind of see that he is sitting in the scene and it looks pretty good. One other thing that you can do to tie your presenter footage into the desk is you can kind of notice here that there's not really any shadows or reflection or anything like that that's showing up down here. And so uh, let's fix that. We will um, drag this first clip to another um, layer in the timeline. And then I'm going to uh, copy and paste this clip onto the layer below it. So now we have two instances of the same clip. And then I will flip. So in my effects area, I will um, type in flip, and there is a vertical and a horizontal flip. We're gonna do a vertical flip. So we'll apply that to this bottom layer right there, and that will flip the, um, uh, the layer vertically. And then we can position him down like so. And then we'll go over to opacity. Maybe bump that to, I don't know, 15% maybe, somewhere in there. And then if you want to get a little bit fancy, you can add a blur. I'll just do a fast blur. Maybe five. Yeah, let's bump that up to 10. There. And you know what? Maybe the opacity needs to be at 10 as well. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, and now you can see that we have a reflection slash shadow in the scene and that just brings it just a little bit more, makes it just a little bit more realistic and, uh, and works a little bit, a little bit better in that scene. Um, let me show you one other thing while I've got this all set up. I'm gonna scale this desk back down, bring it up a hair, right there, and then I'll scale this person down again a little bit, maybe to 90. I'll scale the shadow as well. All right, and then we'll 
position him back up right there and a lot of times people ask if there's a way to change the colors in the desk or if there's a way to adjust those somehow um, you can in Premiere you can do a couple different things you can um, add a uh, what's called a hue effect and if you type in HLS into the effects search uh, there is a color balance HLS effect that you can apply and then that will allow you to adjust the hue of the desk itself and then you can adjust it until you see something that you like and so that's uh, that's a good way to change the colors in the desk you can also change the saturation if you want to bring it bring the desk uh, the desk colors muted you want to mute them a little bit so they're not quite so bright um, you can bring those down a little bit as well and so I hope you've learned a little bit on the tutorial here today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to visit the site. Um, it's virtual-studio-set.com. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you're interested in purchasing one of the desks, we have two volume sets of desks. They have all different kinds, standing desks, sitting desks, um, desks for multiple people. Um, you can you know, take a look at those and see if you like any of them. And they work with pretty much any background that you can use, and they also work in uh, nearly any video editor that's on the market. So thanks for watching, and happy editing.